because everybody's family plan. I know we get money for Kantika. So I not take I'm I can't mistake, I can't do my business, I can't get this belly. So I don't want this speaking now. Now everyone say they can't give family plan free, they mark them pass the mic na the village. So for can I speak to So now I can for can take the injection for a lot of money. For UNFPA, we work to empower women and girls and family planning is integral to this empowerment of women and girls because it will lead to helping a country to reap the demographic dividends. Family planning is always free in outreach. The cooperation of outreach is more better than before. We are having more clients now than before. The demographic health survey showed that the contraceptive prevalence rate was actually about 7.6. In 2013, that is five years after, the contraceptive prevalence it doubled from 8% to about 16.6 percent. That's about 17 percent. That's a huge, like 100 percent increment from 2008 to 2013. Our collaboration with UNFP, we work with uh, the Outreach Channel, wherein we take services to how to reach communities in, to the doorsteps of uh, sexually active women in their communities. The first bell, I get her, I don't mean for get her. The second one, I plan her. The third one, I cannot plan her. When my mama talk to me now, now I go join family plan. We recognize that a lot of women won't come to health facilities. So we um, support what we call outreach services, going out to reach that woman at the last mile. And you know, in this country, it's quite a riverine country. So you have places like Bonth Island, Tombowala, that you cannot reach unless you go by boat. So we actually support boat outreach services to get right there to that woman at the very last uh, mile. In addition to that, you know, because you can have all the supplies you want, you can train all the providers that you want, but if the women themselves don't demand or ask for it, then you have a problem. So we also work with our implementing partners and uh, government on increasing the demand. So it's community outreach. Yes, every morning we do health education talks because we have the pregnant woman and then we have family planning session. Some of them, those days, they used to have frequent babies. Every year they have, they have a baby. But for now, because of family planning, it helps them a lot. And the complications of unsafe abortions are the ones that actually lead to death. And these are the ones that increase maternal mortality in Sierra Leone. Family planning is having a huge health benefit. And also, even for women that want to get pregnant, they can decide that after this pregnancy, I can space my child. So that um, the next pregnancy, I'll have it when I have been able to regenerate my health status properly. We are reducing a lot of maternal, possible maternal mortalities through family planning and also pack services, post-abortion care, even infant mortality. Because uh, if a mother is controlling the birth, she'll be able to take care of the two, three kids they have. 